dashboard templates. Most people think of templates as being a common place to add graphics and styling elements, which other dashboards can inherit, and will also save you a great deal of time from a maintainability standpoint, because if you ever have to change those common elements, it'll automatically cascade into other dashboards. Very helpful, very good as a starting point, but you can take this a lot further. I'm gonna show you how you can do even more with templates by creating more of an application look and feel instead of just adding color and graphics, which I'll also do. Let's get right into it. Oh, and I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. Let's get right into it. From the homepage of Dundas BI, start by creating a new template. You'll see that the template designer looks exactly the same as the dashboard designer. Let's size this properly, and of course, drag in a starting point. So in this case, I've dragged on an image that we're gonna use as an expander. From there, we're gonna go and add a rectangle, which is a colored region which we'll use as a sidebar. So the purpose of this is to allow the user to click on that expander and slide out to create a menu system. I'm also gonna change the background, which will be the default for all of the dashboards that use this template. And as I mentioned, most people use templates as simple banners and graphics at the top. We might as well do that as well. So by adding a line, it makes a very good separator between our header and the rest of the dashboard. And then of course I can go ahead and add our logo image to the top of the screen so that every dashboard gets this. From there, we're gonna add another layer. And you'll see that when you add a layer, there's two options, a menu layer and a regular layer. Now the menu layer, if you've never used it before, is a useful type of layer because it will appear on top of any templates that you've created. So if you're using a template grid, typically an element can only go into a single part of that grid. What happens with the menu layer is it will appear on top of everything as if it's a separate unit. So in our case, with the slider that we're trying to create, regardless of the layout system that you're using, it will work because it will always appear on top. If you're not familiar with these, definitely take a look because there's some pretty neat options here to allow for different styles of layout. In the case of what I'm building right now, I'm a big fan of pixel perfect dashboards. So that's what I'm building. I'm not using any of those additional layout systems. Once we've added our new layer, give it a name and make the new layer active. I'm really gonna quickly paste in that previous image that we used so that it appears in both layers and add another rectangle similar to the sidebar that we created before but this time it's gonna be a lot larger because it's gonna house our content. Let's fill the screen and of course put it behind the button that we started with. From there, we can go ahead and add some additional styling elements. So let's give our new popped up title a label, which I'll call dashboard menu. So by simply using some properties with the font, we can of course make this change and of course make it quite a bit bigger. From here, Let's add a button. So the standard button, which you're probably used to, can actually be styled pretty significantly. Let's make it very large in this case, and we're gonna go and remove the default text. So just by simply blanking it out, you'll see that we don't get any text on it. We'll change the background to blend with our background itself, and we're gonna reapply the text using a label because we want it positioned differently within the button. Let's rename this to our advocacy dashboard that we're gonna link to and of course set the style and colors. From there, we also can bring in icons. So again, by not using the default button styles, I can place an icon right on top of the button to make it look like something a lot more fancy than the standard button that you're used to seeing. Let's do this three more times very quickly for our other buttons that we might wanna have. So we're simply restyling and repositioning these. I'll speed this up as you've seen it already. You can see that we're replacing the icons and changing the text, but using the original as a template. Now let's add another button at the bottom of the screen, which we're gonna use as a help system. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna style this a little bit differently and make it pop a bit more. Now in practicality, you would use this and the navigate interaction to link to either another layer or another dashboard that you might wanna show. In this case, I'm just adding a placeholder element because I don't actually have a help screen that I want to show at this point. But the idea is that you can add anything you want here. Now additionally, once you're done, use that button, go to the click interaction, and add a change layer interaction. And in this case, we're going to tell it when it's open 
to close the layer that we had open, our menu layer. And we're going to click and add another interaction on the close state so that it knows to open it. And you can see in doing this that as I click on that button in view mode, it will toggle the layers automatically, which is pretty cool. Now to use the template, it's simply a matter of, of course, give it a proper name. And when someone says new dashboard, you can see that they're presented with a list of templates. You can see in my screen, I've got a lot of them available. Here it is. And by selecting it, you can see that that template appears grayed out on our initial dashboard. I can, of course, go ahead and add content that I might want to see. And hitting view, my dashboard works. And of course, my menu works on every screen that I create. So that's all it takes. But hopefully, this gives you an idea that templates are more than just simple style, design, and graphics. You can have interactions. You can have script. You can have many applications running as part of that template. So it can be very interesting. Do you want a weather system built into your template? Do you want admin options? Anything that makes sense for your users can be put in there and baked into your dashboards directly. So that's it. Do you like this concept? And are you interested in making your own cool, complex menu systems in Dundas BI, possibly for use within a template? Check out a video that we did called Enhance Your User Experience Using Custom Menu Navigation Controls. This video will cover the menu control and open up even more cool possibilities for navigation in general. That's it, and we'll see you next time.